Welcome to Val's Sweet Kitchen. We're making vanilla ice cream. And the hardest part is waiting for it to cool down. So, grab your ice cream maker and let's go have some fun. Because vanilla is the star, I'm gonna use vanilla beans. And they're really not that expensive as I thought. You're just gonna take them and split them. I, you want a seven inch at least. And that's gonna take two of my little guys here. You're just gonna take them and split them. Split them down the middle because you want the seeds and everything. See, look at that. That's what you want. And we're gonna put them right into a pan. You take one and a third cup of heavy whipping cream, one and a third cup of whole milk, and put those in a saucepan and bring just bring up the heat just until it starts to steam. You don't want it to boil. Stir on occasion because you don't want a skin to form while it's heating up. Because this is infusing the vanilla bean into the cream and milk. There you go. Now turn off your heat and let it and cover it and let it steep for 45 minutes. This is a great time to separate your egg yolks from your egg whites. You'll need five. And I always separate them in a separate dish and then put it in. And I use my hands because it's a lot easier. And if you do it when they're fresh out of the refrigerator, they separate easier too. And after it's done steeping and all that wonderful vanilla is infused, we're gonna add a quarter cup of sugar. And we're gonna bring the cream just up to steaming again. And add a dash of kosher salt. And while that's heating up, take half a cup of sugar and whisk that into the egg yolks. You wanna keep the mixture, the milk moving, cause you don't want it to scald. So be careful of that. You can see it bubbling here that means it's ready. So let's go ahead and temper it into the yolks. What we're doing here is we're gradually increasing the yolk temperature so we don't create scrambled eggs. And then we're gonna put it back into the pan. Now whisk constantly here and bring it up to 180 degrees. Fahrenheit. And this is where my touchless thermometer comes in handy. I put a link below on where you can pick one up. We're gonna pass it through a fine mesh sieve into a metal bowl. And you wanna stop it from cooking and put it into an ice water bath to cool down. This is why you have to use a metal bowl instead of your glass bowl, because those might crack. If you get tired of waiting for it to cool down, you can cheat. Put it in the freezer for a few moments and just stir it on occasion so skin doesn't form. Into the barrel and turn away. I'm gonna use this vanilla ice cream for my rockaroon, which is a French ice cream cake. Subscribe to my channel and you'll be the first to be notified when that video is ready. Mm. Amazing. I hope you had fun today. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel.